great and today I will show you different swimming techniques with your mermaid tail. We'll start with the crawl. You will do your wave movement with your body, your dolphin kick, adding the, the crawl movements of the arms. Then mainly you're just swimming like crawl. You need to bend your elbow, go out of the pool first, and then you bring it front and then you push water. Then you're doing like a big circle with your two hands with doing the wave. Let's try it. You can take breath on the side of your body, turning your head. You can alternate to go one side or the other, or you can always take your breath the same side. Second way to do your mermaid swimming is the mermaid swimming with the breaststroke. Then what you're doing, you're starting from your breast, you dive in front and then push water on the side of your body. Then you do this movement with your arm, keeping your head in front, and then you're bringing your hips front and back to push the bottom of your body. Let's try it. Every time you're kicking your feet, that gives you a big push. Then you want to have your hands extended in front of you when you kick at the back. And then you slide and then you push water and then you push your feet again to make you slide. Third way to swim will be with the scrolling movement. You can do it on your back. And then the main movement is you will move your hands from side to side beside your hips, being uh, floating on your back. If you give a little angle, you will be able to move your head first and if you do the opposite you will be able to move your feet first then I will start moving with my head first with this falling movement Now, I will do the same, but I will go feet first. The big difference between those two was the angle of my hand. One was pointing toward the bottom, the other one was pointing toward the ceiling. A big thing that you want to know also is that you, if you want to have resistance, you can flex your feet. If you flex your feet, you will drag more water and that will be harder to do. We'll just give you an example. If I do it with my feet pointed, it's easy. And if I flex my feet, that will be more resistance. I'm dragging much more water. Now I will show you the butterfly stroke with the mermaid tail. Mainly you do the butterfly stroke with your arms. You're pushing in front of you, doing a big circle and then pushing again. Every time you push, that gives you power to go out of the water, do a little jump and then continue the big wave movement you do with your body. Let's try it. The other way to swim with your mermaid tail is on your side. Then mainly you want to extend one arm and lean your body on the side. And you want to do a big S with your body, bringing your chest forward and then following with your hips. Let's try it.
those were different types of mermaid swimming you can do during your mermaid workout. I recommend that you do two laps of each at the beginning of your training and that will give you a good core, core workout and a cardio exercise. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comment below and you can register to the YouTube channel and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.